Good morning, guys. It's Thursday morning. I know you're probably not going to be able to see this because <laughs> her web is just getting more and more fine every day. But um, Itsy Bitsy worked, worked itself all night long. Look, she built, built a huge web. She's got it anchored all the way down here. And then all of this beautiful web. And then she anchored it <laughs> all the way up here. Look at that. Let me get close. I'll try to enlarge it. Anyway, she survived the um, the car wash. She did a better job surviving it than I did. So, uh, just wanted to show y'all that she's alive and well. Guys, welcome back to my channel. You can see where I'm <laughs> where I'm at today. I got me a small Butterfinger Blizzard. Um, I usually get the mini, but I thought, oh, um, why not pay? I think it's another 50 cents more and get the small. I haven't had one in a very long time, so I'm overdue. But I got the Butterfinger, which is my favorite, and I know a lot of y'all have told me that your favorite is the Heath Bar. I did get that one time, but I don't know what it is. I just keep going back to the Butterfinger, but it's so good. So I would encourage you to go to your local Dairy Queen and get yourself a blizzard. Mm. It is so good, y'all. When I was married to John, he used to get the dip cone. <laughs> of course, growing up in South Mississippi, we didn't have a Dairy Queen. We had a, um, it's called Fred's Drive-In, and um, it was just a little drive-in where you could go in there, and they had some booths in there. You could go go in there and order your malt. I don't even think there was any such of a thing as a milkshake back then. They always put the malt flavoring in it. Hmm. Even though I have the air conditioner on, it's... It's warm. It's 81 degrees outside, so <laughs> my blizzard is melting faster than I can eat it. But, um, do y'all remember back in the 60s, we would go to the drive-in and order us a bag of Fritos, and then we would get some chili, and then pour the chili in there on top of those Fritos, and get us a plastic spoon, and, and um, eat them like that and get us a coca-cola and a glass bottle little six ounce glass bottle oh those were fun times weren't they then did you ever put your peanuts in your coke um i think we i know my daddy he used to put peanuts in his but he always liked the rc cola but um mama got me addicted to coca-cola now, I did switch to Pepsi Cola when I switched from regular Coke to Diet Coke. It didn't taste the same. It just didn't taste good to me. So, I switched to Pepsi Cola Diet, and I drank that for years and years. And then, um, when they changed the formula a year or so ago, I think they stopped using aspartame. And, um, oh, it just had this sickening sweet flavor to it. So now I'm back to drinking Diet Coca-Cola. <laughs> hmm. But those are the simple pleasures in life and that's what brings you the, the most happiness, I think. I don't even think having a big old yacht and going out on a yacht and all that fancy stuff and having to pay somebody to drive the yacht and buy the gas for it. To me, that'd be more trouble than what it's worth. I'd rather go to Dairy Queen and get me a blizzard. <laughs> oh, I'm certainly happy with my life being simple. And I'm about to get ready to clean out my one closet and simplify... Simp <laughs> Make my life even more simpler. Simplify. Okay. 
that's a hard word to say when you got a mouthful of ice cream. But um, anyway, what I was saying about Itsy Bitsy, she came out and made that beautiful spider web. So she did a better job surviving the hurricane car wash than I did. <laughs> oh, that thing made me feel like some dummy, I tell you. But how do you live your life if um, if your life gets destroyed? Do you get up the next day and, and rebuild it like Itsy Bitsy does every night? Um, you know, every day that I drive my car, her, her home, her spider web, her uh, source of getting food is destroyed. So she has to get out there every night and spin another web. Oh, and I saw where these are called orb spiders, O-R-B. They're the ones that are nocturnal. So I was just thinking about that, you know, the analogy with um, Itsy Bitsy and, and the spider web, how, you know, she gets knocked down and her house gets destroyed and her source of food gets destroyed every night. But she picks herself back up and gets out there and builds another one. And that's the way that all of us should live our lives. No matter what comes along and destroys it, you just pick yourself up the next day and, and rebuild it. That's the way I live my life, and I hope that that's the way that you'll be living your life. And I'll just be happy and loving, and don't ever give up hope. I love you. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're just passing through here. And y'all go get you a Dairy Queen Blizzard. And remember that I love you. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.